Hi and welcome to my Facebook Live. My name is Chetan Parkin. Today we're going to look at the heart of the life chart. This is the heart center, the central willpower, wishes and wants. Please have a copy of your chart handy with you so you can follow along with what applies personally to you in your design. If you don't have a copy of your chart, please go to humandesignforusall.com and download a free report which will contain a copy of your human design life chart as well as details about other aspects of your design. You can also do download free software to your own computer from our website humandesignforusall.com and drop as many charts as you like and start looking around see who you've got around you in your life. With your smartphone or tablet you can go to the website thehumandesignapp.com and you'll be guided to sources to install Android or Apple iOS versions of the free app on which you can again draw up charts and experiment with human design. But for the sake of these talks I'm doing here, please have a copy of your chart with you. To date, we've looked at the crown center at the top of the chart, the source of our mental inspirations, the mind center, the second from the top, and the place where we formulate our circumstances, the throat center, third from the top, where we give expression to our lives, and the self-center, also known as the G-center, the fourth center from the top, and from where we find our identity and our bearings in life. In this talk, we're going to have a look at the source of willpower, the heart center, which is the small triangle center next to the self-center, the diamond-shaped center in the middle of the chart. Okay, so we're looking at that little triangle center alongside the diamond. Wishes, wants, willingness, and willpower are lodged in this center. A couple of things before we go deeper into this center is to notice that it connects to all centers except the mind and the crown and the root and in particular it does not connect directly to the sacral center, the center of generated life force energy. If it did, those who had that connection would be living in a life of perpetual motion. And those of you that have both the heart center and the sacral center colored in, you'll notice there can be this tendency to just keep on going and going and going, doing stuff all your life. So just to be watchful about that. Also, one other thing to notice about the heart center is that it only has four gates within it, whereas most other centers have at least six or more gates. If one or more of the channels are colored in completely to one or more of these four centers around it, the heart center, the smallest triangle in the middle of the life chart, will be defined, colored in, and therefore turned on and running consistently 24-7 throughout your lifetime. So willpower has four possible connections and therefore four different effects on our lives, and of course on the lives of those around us. If we say our willpower relates directly to who and what we consider valuable in our life, who and what do we consider holds value for us? What do we want? And we'll often find out that what we want is unlikely to be what we think we want. So the question is who and what we want to have a part of in our lives. When we get this vital comprehension, then we can recognize how to involve the exertions of our heart. It is said that during the course of a lifetime, our heart's output of energy is enough to lift an ocean liner five feet out of the water. So let's not minimize our heart's capabilities here. When we have inner clarity on who and what holds value for us, we can direct energy in the best way possible to achieve fulfillment. At the same time, we can see that the heart center might hold a competitive edge, that we might involve willpower to overcome others, be that in business, sports, or most likely, if we're not really careful, in our relationships. Who do we wish to impress, and what are we prepared to do to make that impression? What are we prepared to do to get ahead of someone? What kinds of status symbols do we want to have in our lives? And on what level might we wish to dominate another? So you see, this small center in the human design life chart and these four possible connections have a very potent influence in our lives. Now, 
If I say that only 30% of the world's population has a defined heart centre, that actually have consistent access to willpower, then you will appreciate there is another whole level of potential complexity here. If you don't have consistent access to willpower, how do you come to know what you strive for? What it is that's worth it? And here's another thing to consider. In these times, heart disease is the biggest factor in human health. If we do not utilize our willpower and our heart's energy correctly in accordance with our design, then we are likely to be susceptible to some intense health issues. I'm not saying this is a medical fact. I'm simply pointing out a potential correlation in the human condition. Please remember always that there is no such thing as a good chart or a bad chart. The vital thing to appreciate about human design is that you have a very specific design. And when you learn how to work within your design, anything can be attained. Life is here to support us. Living in accordance with your human design indicates your particular passage through life and how to go through that passage in integrity, graciously, and to the greatest and most fulfilling effect. So please remember here, what is it that really holds value for you? We'll start with gate 40, and that's in the lower side of this little heart center. And this has the potential to connect into the emotion center on the right side of the life chart through the channel that we call community. The community channel is one of the top three most commonly appearing channels in the life chart. It's a foundational part of life, community. And who are the people around us that mean the most to us, be that family, friends, associates, confidence, or in simple terms, who are the people who hold, we hold close as being important and therefore familiar to us? Who do you honor and who honors you? The key with gate 40 is being well regarded in your community, in that you are reliable, you stick to your agreements by fulfilling your supporting role in community or family, and at the same time, you're independent. You are on call to support your community according to your type and authority, which if you have that community channel defined in your life chart, is emotional, and therefore your authority is trusting the clarity of your feelings. So you're here to support the community, but not just because you might happen to be available. It's all dependent on your type and authority. This is important to, appreci to appreciate. Pay attention to your type and authority, or you will likely find yourself not being appreciated for your independent needs, nor the works that you do. Next, we'll look at gate 26 on the left side of the heart center called accumulation, the power of the great, or the great nourisher. This gate is also sometimes called the big ego, but that mostly relates to its misuse. The 26 gateway can point out what has value in life, particularly in terms of bringing about improvements in the marketplace, as well as in life generally. It can be seen to be innovative. It can be seen to be the gate of sales, because there is an inbuilt knack of drawing people's attention to useful items in life that they may not have noticed for themselves. Its potential is to connect to the spleen center. That's the triangle center on the left side of the chart. And this is the center of health and well-being. And through this connection, bring instant healing to a perhaps overloaded heart. Perhaps healing a heart that is chasing after something that it does not really suit it in its needs. Like a job that has no fulfillment and barely pays the bills. Or a partnership that is unequal or a lifestyle that holds no intrinsic value. They say that laughter is the best medicine, and this connection between the heart center and the spleen center can be a source of great relief through humor, as well as bring instant clarity to associate with those things in life that enhance life. What has value? In the top left corner of the heart center is gate 51 of shock. Physically, it is said that this gate relates to the gallbladder, and this gallbladder produces bile as part of our digestive process. Bile is associated with sudden changes in body chemistry, and in human design, gate 51 can change the atmosphere in an instant. It can be truly shocking, waking, pe waking people out of a predetermined pathway into a more realistic one. The potential connection here is to gate 25 of innocence, 
in the self center, the diamond center. And when utilized in a right way, the effect of gate 51 is to shock people out of complacency into their innocent, clear and loving nature. Gate 51 can also shock others just for the sake of drawing attention to itself or to release its bile if, there are, if this person is a little unbalanced in their life. Aiming towards the throat center at the top of the heart center is gate 21 called the hunter, the controller or the gateway of discernment. This aspect of the heart center involves being clear about what values in life need upholding. In a way, it sets the whole tone of the values that communities need to support themselves to be healthy and prosperous. It is met at the throat center by gate 45 of gathering together that oversees how resources of corporations, communities and institutions are dispersed. I've mentioned that only 30% of the world have a defined heart center that is turned on 24-7. So 30% of the world have access to willpower energy at any moment. They can be pretty clear about what has value and what does not, what appeals to their heart and what doesn't, what's worth pursuing and what is best left alone. Heart energy moves quickly and efficiently. It accomplishes something in five minutes that can take someone with an undefined or an open heart center considerably longer. Hence those with a defined heart center can tend to overload their heart by taking on activities that with more patience might be left for others to accomplish in their own time. Those with a defined heart center need to be clear in their wants but also crystal clear in their type and authority to know when to act and when to rest. An overworked heart can accomplish one thing after another in rapid succession but resting is an essential feature too. An undefined heart center, one that is colored white and has at least one gate activated in it, holds a potential wisdom to know what has value and what does not in accordance with the gate or gates that are active in that center. Providing wisdom is one possibility. Getting caught up in others' value systems, keeping up with the Joneses, overexerting yourself in a career that has been taken on without your personal clarity, or trying to prove yourself in something when deep down you know this is not a part of your makeup will lead to a stressed heart and dissatisfaction. If you have an open heart center, you are generous to a point of foolishness. You'll give anybody anything and they don't even ask you nicely. An open heart center is one that is colored white and without any activated gates indicates that you are by nature open hearted. It can take a lot to impress you and you must rely on your type and authority to indicate to you who and what holds real values for you. One thing has to be established with undefined and open heart centers is that those centers have absolutely nothing to prove. Nothing to prove. You are entirely enough within yourself without having to prove it. Your ability is to see what has value in the world around you for others and what it is that does not have value. In your clarity, you reflect other people back to themselves and you'll find out what, what you really want when you pay attention to your type and authority because your type and authority will tell you, inside you, according to your own nature. Of course you can access willpower, but only when your type and authority indicate to you to do so. Otherwise, leave it alone. The heart center is unlike the mind center because the heart is direct. It is not split like the mind. Knowing your heart and knowing how your heart center works within you and within your life is a vital issue. So I hope this has given you a few clues. Next time we'll have a look at the spleen center, the source of our fears, our passive intuitive senses and our health and well-being. Until next time, all the best. Bye for now.